What's up YouTubers, my name is Lawrence Ryan. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to level up your Adobe Premiere Pro CC audio tracks using Adobe Audition, which is a linked program. It's free, it's very cool, and it's coming right up. All right, so before we get to it, I just wanted to say, if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe and or follow. Hit that bell for notifications so you get informed when the new videos and premieres are coming out. Hit the like button and leave me a comment down below. All right, let's get to it. So here we are in Premiere Pro CC, and I've already got a clip queued up in the timeline. This is my vlog, Rebel Tunnel Vlog, and you can check that out on my channel if you like. And when I record these, I usually turn off all air conditioners, fans, electric heaters, anything that's going to make noise. But sometimes you can't avoid it. So for demonstration purposes, I turned on an electric heater and I put it close to the microphone. And this is what it sounds like. What's up, YouTubers? My name is Lawrence Ryan. In this video, we're going to talk about a YouTube metric that's one of the most overlooked, yet one of the most important when you're trying to build your YouTube channel. Okay, so you can understand what I'm saying, but you can also hear that there's quite a bit of noise in the background. And what we're going to do here is we're going to remove all that noise. We're going to raise the level of the audio a little bit, maybe add a little EQ, and level up this track. So this is how we do that. First, you want to right-click on your video file. Then you want to go up in this dialog to edit clip in Adobe Audition. And what that's going to do is that's going to extract the audio from your file and it's going to automatically open up an instance of Adobe Audition and place that file in the program and here it is. It says audio extracted for a wave. So what we want to do is we want to double click on that file and that opens up the edit window and I'm just going to split these so you can see. Here we got Premiere and Audition over here. And in Audition, you can see this is the waveform graphic of the audio file from your video clip. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise up the level of this a little bit. I think I'm going to use some hard limiting. Go to hard limiting here. And we'll raise that up by about 10. 10 dB is fine. And then I think now what we'll do is we'll get rid of some of this noise. Now this right here you see is your noise floor. And the way I create that is I leave 10 seconds of silence usually before I record anything. And I think I even say that in here. All right, room tone, 10 seconds of silence. Right. And that sound you hear is what is known as room tone, which is the sound of the room. And you do that so you can extract that sound later on. So let's do that. Let's grab a sample of that noise, and I usually like to do it at a zero crossing because I'm OCD that way. Okay, and then over here on this end, let's move it to, that's actually pretty good. Okay, so that is a sample of that noise. You can make it larger or smaller depending on, you know, how it is and how the file plays out there. So we're going to go over to noise reduction process. And we check our settings here. We got 6,000 is fine. Snapshots reduced by four. So let's grab that sample of that noise. Then we're going to select the entire file and we're going to apply it. So you notice this change here where this was once a lot of noise. Now it is completely gone. So let's give this a listen. What's up, YouTubers? My name is Lawrence Ryan. In this video, we're going to talk about a YouTube metric that's one of the most overlooked yet. All right, so let's A, B those. Let's take the noise reduction out. Let's undo it. What's up, YouTubers? My name's Lawrence Ryan. And then we'll add the noise reduction back in. What's up, YouTubers? My name's Lawrence Ryan. In this video, we're going to talk about a YouTube metric that's one of the most overlooked. Much, much better. So at this point, you can do virtually anything you want to your audio, you can add effects, anything you'd like. I'm just going to add a little bit of graphic equalizer to this, to a section here. Let's add some EQ. Give that a listen. What's up, YouTubers? My name's Lawrence Ryan. In this video, we're going to talk about a YouTube metric that's one of the most overlooked, yet one of the most important when you're trying to build your YouTube channel. And that is learning what videos of the ones you're making. All right, so that sounds pretty good. Let's just click OK. And that saves it in an audition. 
And now watch what happens. And I'll open up Premiere here. Watch what happens when I save this file in Audition. Just Control S. Saving the file. It changes in Premiere. It automatically renders the file for you back to Premiere Pro for whatever file type you're using there, MP4, MOV, whatever type it is. Now let's give that a listen in Premiere. What's up, YouTubers? My name's Lawrence Ryan. In this video, we're going to talk about a YouTube metric that's one of the most overlooked, yet one of the most important much, much when you're trying to build your YouTube much, channel. Much, much better. So you can continue to edit that track and audition as much as you like, you know, adding level changes, equalization, uh, effects, whatever you wish. And each time you save it, it will transfer the new track over to Premiere. You can also undo changes in audition, and the same process applies. This linking of the programs can save you a ton of time since you don't need to find another program to extract the audio, then save the file, then import it to Audition, then save it and import it back to Premiere. You don't need to do any of that. I use this all the time and it has saved me many, many, many hours. One thing to keep in mind is that the Audition edits that you do make to your audio do change the original track. So you want to make sure you have a backup of the original clip somewhere. Um, it's usually on your SD card, so you're pretty much covered there. One little trick that I do sometimes is if you want to make a backup of it, after you save it to Premiere, you can go back to Audition, undo the changes, and then save that file as a different file name in your project folder. And that's the original file. So you've got a copy of it. Just a little trick there. Okay, that's it for this video. Once again, please don't forget to subscribe and or follow. Hit that bell for notifications. Click on the like button and leave me a comment down below. This is Lawrence Ryan, and I'll see you in the next one.